Hello everybody, it's me, Italian Gamer Joe, your favorite Italian streamer. Welcome to a new night of streams. It is I, Italian Gamer Joe, back in the flesh. I took a I took a short break. Um, when was it since I last streamed? Actually, I don't even remember. It was maybe like last Wednesday, maybe, maybe June first. The last time I streamed was June. 1st first crazy so that was about a week from today so i streamed a week ago what is wrong with me <laughs> now anyway welcome on in everybody hope you're all having a wonderful day night afternoon wherever you are whenever you are however you happen to be watching tonight or if this is a vod then welcome to the vod welcome to the future the future it's like SpongeBob with Squidward's like, future, future. No, but anyway. Welcome on in, Blue Phoenix, Guava, Captain Plasma. Thank you for giving the shout out, Guava. Hope you've been doing well and everybody else that's here tonight. Welcome on in. Um, also, I hope that you are all enjoying the summer uh, theme so far, including my beautiful new beach studio backdrop with the beach background and the new studio. It's very comfortable here, to be honest. It's very air conditioned. I can just feel the air conditioning hitting my face. It's just, you know, it's a beautiful summer day outside and where am I? I'm inside, you know, just feeling the air conditioning just, you know, all over me. It's it's very nice and very, very relaxing just to be in a very air conditioned studio. Um, I also hope that you're enjoying the Italian Gamer Joe Raccoon emotes. They are brand new for the Italian Gamer Joe summer theme. Welcome on in, Esco Blazin. Hope you're having a great night. And thank you for giving Esco Blazin the shout out. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a great, uh, great experience here on Twitch with me. Um, I apologize for the delay that I've been going through with streaming. Um, last week, um... Let me make sure, not even last week, Monday. Monday, I had some stomach problems and I could not stream. I had some really bad stomach problems and I'm feeling much better now. Much, much better now. So um, I'm really excited to finally be here to stream Nancy Drew, Sea of Darkness. Uh, Lizard in the City 98. Hi, first timer prop. <laughs> no problem. Welcome on in to the Italian Gamer Joe channel. Um, for those of you that might be tuning in for the first time, if just in case you need a refresher, I'm Italian Gamer Joe, your new favorite Italian streamer. Um, I'm an LGBT streamer. This is a safe space um, for people with anxiety or people that just want to chill out. Um, we have a very tight knit community with a lot of familiar faces that you'll probably see stream to stream. Um, like our very own moderator Guava, um, Esco Blazin, Jane Easy is here. Oh, welcome on in, Jane Easy. Um, we got some awesome people. I tend to play adventure games like Nancy Drew, puzzle games, games of the good story. Um, I also really, really enjoy Sea of Thieves, which I've been meaning to get back into. I also like Nintendo games. There's so many games that I enjoy. We do community nights on occasion. Um, so there's a lot to experience with Italian Gamer Joe. We also have a Discord community where you can promote your streams if you are a streamer. So feel free to join the Discord. Um, we also have a fitness club, a book club, a coding club a duolingo club um we have a nancy drew community we have a sea of thieves community we have we have a lot going on in the discord so feel free to check out the discord if you'd like to make some new friends there as well um my discord community has a lot of lgbt people like myself as well as many allies so feel free to come on in and join the community and meet some other like-minded people um, a bunch of us are adventure game fans as well and humongous nancy drew fans if you've never played nancy drew before do not worry um nancy drew games there's 33 games total plus two hidden object games um I was a big fan of Nancy Drew games growing up. I've been playing them since I was in third grade. And now that I am a young adult at 28 years old, I'm excited to be able to replay these games and get the chance to uh, experience them again um, as a young adult. It's been a very interesting year so far. This is the last Nancy Drew game that I will, that I will the, this is the last Nancy Drew game uh, of the full 33 Nancy Drew games that I've streamed on Twitch. This is the final Nancy Drew adventure game that I 
will be that I have streamed on Twitch. It's 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 been a crazy year of Nancy Drew games. Um, I started with Legend of the Crystal Skull as my first ever Nancy Drew game, which is not the first in the series. Um, I kind of jumped around a bit, but I'm really really excited because um, this. I've I've official after this after Sea of Darkness this will be the final Nancy Drew game that I've streamed um, of all 33 games. I'm excluding the Hidden Object games because that's a completely separate spin-off series. So it would be like Breaking Bad and then jumping into like Better Call Saul, like completely different series, completely different like experience. Um, this is like we are like finishing the Breaking Bad. <laughs> Uh, we already finished Midnight in Salem, so we're not even gonna like Midnight in Salem is done. We finished it, so this is the Midnight in Salem is like the most recent Nancy Drew game. But this one, this one is the one I haven't had a chance to stream yet. So I'm actually really, really excited because this is like this is the last Nancy Drew adventure game. Um, I bet you're probably having. A, I bet you all probably have questions though. Like starting with, wait, Joe, you're gonna you're done with Nancy Drew? What? The answer is no. I am not done with Nancy Drew. Um, just because I finished all of the adventure games doesn't mean there will not be Nancy Drew content here on the channel. Um, after I finish the adventure games, I will be playing the Nancy Drew Dossier games, which are hidden object games. Um, there are two hidden object games in the series. Um, I'm also thinking about um, tr maybe including Nancy Drew games in the book club that we have and then doing Twitch streams where we review the Nancy Drew books together um, potentially. That's something I'm also thinking about. Um, another thing I'm thinking about doing, which is actually, it, it's, it's not even a thinking about, it's, it's going to happen. Um, I'm going to restart all the Nancy Drew games starting from Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill Remastered all the way up to Midnight in Salem. We are going to do all the Nancy Drew games all over again on senior level difficulty. This is the harder Nancy Drew difficulty that is very painful and the puzzles are even more intense. <laughs> so um, once we finish all of the games, we're going to just redo them all again on Master Extrovert Sleuth difficulty. It's going to be torture. These puzzles are going to be really hard and they're going to be really intense because Nancy Drew games just love to throw escape room puzzles at us that are insane. So once we finish these, we're going to jump right back in again to Secrets Can Kill Remastered and do all the games over again on Master Sleuth. Um, that's the first answer to one of your questions. The other question that I seem to be getting a lot is, but Joe, what about other adventure games? What about other variety game experiences? What do you have to show for us on that end of things? And my answer to that question is uh, yes, <laughs> yes. We are going to be playing a lot, a lot more, a lot more adventure games, um, a lot more uh, down the pipeline as well. Some games that I want to stream are the Artifacts Mundi games, which are a series of hidden object games from an amazing company, um, Artifacts Mundi. They make really, really cool cinematic uh, story games that are like hidden object and really cool as well. I want to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, I want to stream the humongous entertainment games like Pajama Sam. Um, we already streamed Spy Fox. Um, other games that I want to stream are like 2064 Read Only Memories. Um, I'm looking through my Steam playlist. Um, maybe even like some visual novels like Coffee Talk, maybe Clue if we do like a party thing, Sea of Thieves. We're going to have a lot of Sea of Thieves. Uh, like we're going to have more like Monkey Island, Dark Fall. Um, I already mentioned Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, Leisure Suit Larry. I was getting a lot of Leisure Suit Larry recommendations. People have been telling me to stream that like crazy. Um, Monster Prom. Fan uh, Phantasmagoria 2. We had a lovely person buy the game for us. <laughs> that one kid. Thank you very much for purchasing that game for us. We're going to go back and we're going to beat it. Um, and yeah, Real Mist, uh, just so many adventure games that I want to get the chance to play and uh, stream here on Twitch. So um, just because Nancy Drew is done does not mean that their Italian Gamer Joe does not have 
uh, more content up my sleeve. Other games that I want to get into are The Sims 4. You're probably going to... I One of my favorite game series of all time is The Sims, and I'm hoping to do more The Sims, game, the Sims streams where I just go into it and act like a total boofball and just give you The Sims 4 Italian Gamer Joe experience. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is something like something maybe like a weekly thing where we just dive into the sims 4 we do a scenario and i basically create a full-blown narrative um where i act out some things and i just act like a total goofball it's gonna be improv just just imagine italian gamer joe improv night that's basically what it's going to be um guava's like ooh, coffee talk lizard says oh i can't wait for us to play blue moon canyon that one is fantastic it's an amazing nancy drew game i think that's also the one that guava played for the first time esco says nancy drew in the heart and the boys over bitches we got that right esco um but yeah captain says also italian gamer joe did you see the meme that you added in bronze's discord i did not know and for those who don't know what he's talking about um, one of the streamers that I follow, it goes by Brontex, and uh, he's an awesome streamer that I haven't had a chance to actually, um, haven't, oh, okay, I saw it, I just watched it now, Captain uh, Plasma, I just watched it now, it's, it's a meme that you posted about Five Nights at Freddy's, because Brontex is playing Five Nights at Freddy's on his channel. Uh, and he's really scared of it. We're going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Um, we're not going to be playing it yet. I, I have plans to play the game in October. Um, I want to wait for the game to patch a lot of their bugs and a lot of their issues. Um, so we're going to... I'm waiting to stream Five Nights at Freddy's in October. Um, also, Five Nights at Freddy's is a very spoopy game. And I think October would be a great month to play Five Nights at Freddy's. So we're probably going to wait to do that for then. For then. Because I'm excited. I'm excited for that. FNAF is it is it really is, and I, I I played Security Breach. I beat it. I loved it. I I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I'm actually I even I mean I pre-ordered the book, the Five Nights of uh, the Pizza Plex books. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I think that the series is great. I think that Scott Cawthon is a very d talented person to create these games all by himself. Um, you know and. I, I have respect for people that are motivated enough to create experiences and lore and worlds literally all by themselves. I mean, you got Toby Fox. Like, my all-time favorite is Toby Fox. Like, oh my god, Undertale was amazing. And then maybe tied for first place, it would have to be, like, um, Concerned Ape with Stardew Valley. Uh, I think his name is Eric Barone in real life. Oh my god, Concerned Ape is amazing. And he's like one of the nicest people ever. I remember when Sardew Valley was like first coming out, I told I, me, I think I like messaged him on Twitter and I'm like, congratulations on Stardew Valley. Like, I am so happy for you. And he responded with like, oh my god, thank you so much. It's really kind of you to say. And like, just really nice person. Um, yeah, Concerned Ape, amazing. Guavo says, not a great person, but good at designing a game. Guavo, okay, so Guavo, I, I'm assuming that you're referring to Scott Cawthon. Yeah, I there was some controversy. Controversy aside, Five Nights at Freddy's is a fantastic franchise, and it's amazing seeing the amount of creativity that has come out in the form of uh, like fan service, fan games, and just so much more. Concerned Ape is super cool, but Concerned Ape is amazing, and I have so much respect for him. I cannot wait for Chucklefish's next game, which I think is the Chocolatier game that they just released. Um, there's a game that they're releasing about like a chocolate factory. Is it a chocolate factory or something? It's something to do with like a factory. I don't know. It gives me Edward Scissorhands vibes, and I think it looks really, really cool. So I'm really, really excited for um, Chucklefish's next game, Concerned Ape's next game. Um, his content is amazing, and the amount of work and effort he's put into Stardew Valley is just, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, before we go jump into Nancy Drew, um, this stream is brought to you by 
Her Interactive, you heard me right, Nancy Drew Games developer Her Interactive has sponsored the stream for tonight. If you go to the Her Interactive website and you enter the code TRAVEL22, there is a 35% off discount on all the Nancy Drew Games. So please go to the Her Interactive website and type in TRAVEL22 at checkout. Um, let me just go ahead and do this as well. Yeah, thank you, Guava. The sale should still work. If it doesn't, then there we go. There we go. So please consider going to the Her Interactive website, entering sale22 at checkout, and consider purchasing your very first Nancy Drew game. It's travel22 is the code. Um, I If you're looking for a good vacation Nancy Drew game, like a good mystery where Nancy goes somewhere... I'm going to be biased and I'm going to say Phantom of Venice. I think that Phantom of Venice is a great Nancy Drew game because it teaches you about Italian culture. It teaches you Italian words. One of the puzzles in the game literally requires you to know the Italian language to solve, um, which is really, really cool. Um, I, yeah, I mean, back when I streamed Phantom of Venice, I even did like a masquerade thing where I wore a masquerade mask the whole time. Um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend taking advantage of this sale if you're wanting to dip your toe in the Nancy Drew games. I think it's a great deal to take advantage of. Um, not only do you get the games, but you also get a digital PDF walk, um, like illustrated walkthrough on how to complete the game, um, which is something you do not get on Steam. You don't get on Big Fish Games, but you do get it on the Her Interactive website. So support the Her Interactive developers, uh, the Nancy Drew Game developers, support them today and take advantage of their Travel 22 sale on the Her Interactive website. And I bet you're thinking, wait a minute, what if I'm already on summer vacation? What if I'm in Italy? What if I'm in Paris? What if I'm in Hawaii? What if I'm in Ireland? Well, guess what? It's okay. <laughs> take advantage of that sale and get it today. Or, or, buy it for someone do you know someone's email address do you have someone in mind that could really use a vacation maybe it's a co-worker a manager a friend a family member someone that maybe is having a really tough time right now that could really use a vacation you heard it here first at italian gamer joe get their email address Take advantage of this 35% off all games sale and send them the gift of Nancy Drew. They won't need a vacation. When they're playing Nancy Drew, it'll be a staycation when they try to solve a mystery, including all of the games you see above my head in that trunk. Anyway, thank you very much for Interactive for the sponsorship. We shall now go back to chatting. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to jump into Nancy Drew Sea of Darkness. I'm really, really excited to jump into the game. I think it's going to be a really good time. And I, um, I'm, it's like bittersweet for me because it's been quite the journey here at Italian Gamer Joe. Um, I know a lot of you um, have been here since day one with my channel. Uh, back when it was Final Fantasy VIII, and then when I started Nancy Drew Games with Legend of the Crystal Skull. It's been a journey. It's been quite the journey to go from Legend of the Crystal Skull from last year all the way up till now. It's been amazing, and it's been awesome having so many of you be here and lurk on the channel and just have a really good time with me. I really appreciate the love and the support. Um, Quava forgot the sale thing. Captain Plasma says, not gonna lie, Nancy Drew kind of gives me Magic Treehouse vibes. <sighs> That's a very interesting comparison. Can you elaborate? <laughs> Guava says, it's a lot of fun so far, very cold. I know, right? Sea of Darkness is a cold game, but like literally cold, like literally cold. All right, without further ado, I've been stalling long enough. Let us jump into Nancy Drew, Sea of Darkness. Okay. Um, what I need to do, I'm going to make the game louder because hopefully that's the case. And then we're going to go ahead and launch it. Nancy Drew, Sea of Darkness. All right. If the game is too loud or I'm too soft, please let me know. Please let me know if any of the audio sounds off or if anything seems weird. But we're going to go ahead and start the game. 
I, oh, this is so sad. This is the game. Guavo says, I get that. Um, you go to so many different places, except instead of Magic, Nancy has rich parents. I kind of get it. Magic Treehouse really sucks you in with the knowledge and fun. Mystery stuff, I guess, just like the games. That's a good point, Plasma. I can totally see that. I can totally see that. How Magic Treehouse is like a new adventure every time. You're right. You're totally right. And you want something funny? Nancy Drew was very popular at the same time that Treehouse was very popular. So you're not very far off. You're actually quite close. Okay, so um, why don't we just jump in? I'm I'm excited. I'm very very excited. It's locked. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna raise some uh, we're gonna raise some settings. And uh, like I said before, if anything seems a little bit loud, just let me know. And Lizard, you mentioned some Nancy Drew game knowledge. Are you a Nancy Drew detective? Are you a detective? Are you a sleuth? Have you played all the games just like me? Please let me know. All right, we're going to jump in now. Hey, Candy Girl, welcome in. We're playing Sea of Thieves, as you can see. <laughs> so here we are at Nancy's house. Um, let's go ahead and see what we have in store for us. So we got the Ford Fecchio 75th anniversary, Skip Brought Iceland, and a boarding pass. Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> this is Jane from Blackmore. I want to play a game. Nancy just rips it immediately. She's like, <laughs> throws it in the shredder. <laughs> Nancy's like, oh, thank the Lord. I don't have to do that again. <laughs> no more glow sticks. No more glow sticks. Nancy, I got your contact info through a friend of mine, Moira Chrisholm. I think you did some good sleuthing work with her in Scotland not too long ago. First, some background on yours truly. You could officially call me a locator of fine goods, per se. Nithing, ni oh my god, I can't even talk. I'm like, nice things get lost. Nice things they. Why am I talking like that? Nice things get lost. Nice things stay buried for a while. I find the nice things. I get a piece of the pie. In other words, I'm a treasure hunter. Also, why would you admit that? <laughs> Currently, I'm in Iceland, in a small town called Skipbrot. When I first arrived, the <laughs> was beached nearby, with the long-standing rumor about a treasure concealed somewhere within this old merchant ship. The ship is pretty important to the citizens of Skipbrot, can you say skip brought? <laughs> and they hold a festival every year to celebrate the year it crashed on their shores. Why celebrate a shipwreck? Question mark. Don't ask me. I helped to restore the ship along with my business partner, Magnus, <laughs> under two conditions. Number one, I would be entitled to a portion of the treasure found. And number two, we couldn't begin a formal search until this year's festival was finished. We dolled the ship up all pretty, polished the hull, and Magnus planned to sail it in to commemorate the festival start date. But then the ship arrived. Empty. No Magnus. No sign of struggle. Nothing. He's just... gone. I think Magnus is up to something shady. I think he found the treasure, and now I want you to find him. I've booked you on the next flight to <laughs> A car will take you to Skiprot. I'll meet you in town. Bon voyage, Dagny Silva. Phew, finally made it to town. Oh, it's freezing out here. This game, by the way, is so Hi pretty. There. Oh, Are there's Dagny. Miss Silva? Finally, she arrives. I think I'm half made of ice at this point. So... You're Nancy, huh? I'm Dagny. I'm part of the ship restoration team, the one who called you in. You can call me Boss Lady if you want. Or My Queen. Or Dagny, whatevs. Uh, let's go with Dagny for now and work our way up to the big stuff. <laughs> K 
Can I help? Yes. Find my missing, skeeving, backstabbing business partner, Magnus. I'm sensing you're a little stressed out about this. Ugh. I'm so mad I've been an inch away from setting this town on fire. On fire? Are you okay? What? Oh, just the fire comment. I thought... Metaphors, Nancy. Keep up with me here. So listen. Right now I'm focused on this town, Skibrot. There's this ship in town that was being rebuilt. Skibrot. Real old, 18th century. I offered to sponsor the rebuilding project to get the ship floating again. Mostly because I'm super nice and cool like that. But also because there's a rumor about a treasure on board worth millions. Magnus, the man in charge of the project, and my business partner, promised we'd find it and split the earnings. But he's gone missing now? Yep. And left me looking like a fool. So this is Dagny. I gotta catch up on some chat here. Shoves it in a folder with Jane's 50 other letters. Yeah, guava. That, that all say to shred. Lizard says, I'm deaf and Nancy Drew enjoyer. Haven't played all the games, but I love following streamers, YouTubers that play them. I also played a few classics like Waverly, Canyon, Old Clock, and Twister. Lizard, you have so many Nancy Drew games you have to catch up with. They're like a Netflix show. Seriously, just, just play them all. Just buy them all. Guava says, who could have stolen those things <laughs> with the raccoon? Esco's like, Q. Guava says, I remember a sea shanty about a Greenland, not Iceland. I have to remember how it went. Ice cold car. I love this Nancy Drew game. Ice cold car. Also, hello. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> we got the shout out. Thank you for giving the shout out to Ice Cold Car. Lizard says, uh, I love going to redacted cold location. Oh, I, okay. I like how you said redacted. I just couldn't pronounce it, so I was just being stupid. But yeah, no, I let, I think it's funny that you uh, that you say redacted. <laughs> Can girl hi car? Guava's was like <laughs> me being cold, but also excited. <laughs> oh my god! So we got the shivering, excited Guava. I love that. I love that we 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 repurposed the raccoon as shivering and excited. Even like the taking notes emote now, like. It's not even going to be aggressive note taking. It's going to be freezing cold note taking where the raccoon is just freezing cold while he's taking notes. Ice cold car says, I'm laughing at the ha 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 Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I like how Dagny's just like, yep, and he left me looking like a fool. He left me looking like... A fish to dry, but in this case, it'll be a frozen fish because it's negative degrees out here. <sighs> Can a girl with a freezing cold raccoon <laughs> like a full sickle? <laughs> Dagny's like, What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Just imagine that because that is how Magnus left me to freeze out here because <laughs> he screwed me over. He screwed me over like a chocolate, make a mint chocolate chip ice cream. He screwed me over like a, like a vanilla, like a vanilla bean frappuccino. He screwed me over like a banana split. He screwed me over like a rainbow flavored Dippin' Dots. He screwed me over like a Briar's ice cream. He screwed me over like an Overweiss chocolate shake. He screwed me over like a Dairy Queen blizzard. <laughs> he screwed me over like the new Wendy's strawberry flavored Frosty that's limited time. <laughs> he screwed me over like the taco flavored ice cream at Taco Bell. He screwed me over like the Italian gelato. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done now. <laughs> a popsicle. <laughs> Would you say that it's ice cold outside? But what is cooler than being cool? It's okay. Languages up north in Europe are super hard to pronounce if you don't know all the symbols, pronunciation rules. I know, right? Right? <laughs> all right. Let's see. Was there... Let's see. What is Nancy's questions? Nancy's line of questionings is like, when did he vanish? You know, that is a good question, Nancy. That is a very good question. Because if he, like, if, if he wasn't, sh like, if he wasn't shown on the ship... And Nancy's in River Heights, Chicago, and she has to fly all the way to Skip Brot. Like, I would imagine it would take maybe a few days for Nancy to get here. 
So, like, it's been a few days. Like, this guy's probably gone. I mean, like, I, uh, like, did you not call the police? I mean, it's been more than 24 hours. And it took Nancy a few days to get here. So, what did you? What were you doing this whole time, Dagny? Were you investigating? Were you doing anything? It's probably been a good 48 to 72 hours. I mean, Nancy at this point's like, well, I hope he's still alive at this point because this is not good. It's, I, I mean, it took me three days to get here. <laughs> Lizard's like, LOL. To be fair, it's just a hop, skip, and a brat, and plus some rot. Oh my god. <laughs> Nancy's like, you know what? I'm gonna call it. He's probably a goner. You know, it's been you. You called me three days ago, and he still hasn't turned up. <laughs> Nancy's like, case closed. I solved a new one. Nancy's like, all right, who's ready for midnight in Salem? <laughs> all right, let's 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 ask about the when. When did he vanish? He disappeared some time before our ship crashed into the harbor. They say he must have fallen in the water. But the guy sails for a living. You know what sailors don't do? Drown. Luckily for Dagny, Magnus is not her priority. Oh my gosh, I know, right? <sighs> I get it. You think he ran <laughs> off with a gold then? After enough time in the biz, a girl knows when she's being backstabbed. If he did find the treasure, I need you to track down Magnus and make him play fair. And if I find the treasure, I'll find Magnus. Yes. Tegni's like, if you find him, slap him in the face for me. Just, 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 just multiple times. <laughs> The key to finding the treasure is learning about that ship. Backstab. So everything's interconnected. <laughs> yeah, like it I sounds. Like my work cut out for me. Can Backstab. I take a look at the ship? Technically, yes. Awesome. How do I get on board? By not being me, apparently. Elizabeth controls the ship, and she hates my guts. She removed the gangway to my ship that I paid for. Did she give you a reason? Oh, something about her family line and ancient blood feuds and murders and, you know, normal boring stuff. Talk to Soren, the festival organizer. He'll make sure she lets you on. Okay, what? <laughs> she paid for the ship. Uh, technically, it's her property. So you're telling me that some woman named Elizabeth walked up to you, pushed you off the ship, like, eh. <laughs> I'm just imagining Dagny just being like, like, Dagny's just in the water, like, what the fuck? And then Elizabeth's like, murder and long family history and tragedy and all these things. And Dagny's like, well, you didn't have to push me off the ship. <laughs> Dagny's just sitting here, like, wet and freezing cold. What do people in town think about Magnus's disappearance? They're all like, ooh, the ocean is super dangerous in the winter. And ooh, hypothermia and blah, blah, blah. You know, Icelander stuff. But without a body, you're still convinced he faked his death. Yep. Which apparently doesn't take a lot of work in Iceland. Interesting. Very interesting. Esco, I love your comments. Lizard says, Dagny, I'd like you to meet the majority of the crew from the Titanic. Or the Essex crew, they inspired Moby Dick. Sailors can drown a lot. <laughs> Ducky, welcome on in. High school car's like murder. High <laughs> school car, I'm just imagining you like just being in front of Dagny, being like red rum, red rum. Dagny just slaps you like. Pfft. No, anyway, let's just continue. How'd you meet Magnus? I heard about the rumor of the treasure through my connections. Then I approached him. He's a hard guy to pin down, that Magnus. Turns out he's been looking for the treasure for years. I just happened to come in at an opportune moment. What would Magnus do with a treasure? Desperately wants to buy his own ship. He's a ship guy. Ship guys are like that. So the ship he helped rebuild isn't his? We funded it, but it's town property. Later. Toodles. Oh my god, Nancy with the later. 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 <laughs> you can't stand that. Can't can't check that off yet. Does Nancy have a diary in this game? Oh my god, she has a diary in this game. Okay, okay. I like how Nancy takes a picture of the one set that almost killed her. That's a flex move there. 
Like, just total flex. Alright, we're gonna take a picture of Dagny just because. <laughs> Nancy's like, don't move. We're setting you as my wallpaper. <laughs> Nancy's like, I need you. I need this. Okay. Nancy's like, dear diary. Dagny says the key to finding Magnus is finding the lost treasure. I need to get on board that ship and have a look around. I'm just imagining Dagny just standing there like, no shit. Did you literally, did you have to write that down? Dagny's like, I thought it was pretty obvious, Nancy. <laughs> Dear diary, I've arrived safe and sound in Iceland. I'm here to investigate a missing sea captain. The temperature here is about a million and a half degrees below freezing. At least, that's what it feels like. Just imagine Dagny just being like, Stop it! I don't want to hear this, Nancy. But at least we got this beautiful picture of Dagny. Oh my gosh. Well, here we are. Dagny's just sitting by this, like, closed down restaurant thingy. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Go out, Esco. I like how you, I like how you just like, <laughs> you just you you what you type it like she says it. Can't check that off yet. <laughs> um, Esco, I need to do another like collaboration with you because you're hilarious. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. <laughs> But you, you're like saying the original, like, like, I think that was like before they changed it. There's a better wallpaper in the hotel though. No ship, you mean. I need to remember how cold you were after being pushed into the ocean. Yes, we do. All right. So here we are. It's, I love the, uh, by the way, the graphics in this game are a huge update. Like they really did a good job on the graphics. So we're going to turn around. We're going to look at stuff. Experience the magic of Skibrot's ice caves. Completely unsupervised at breakneck speeds. Rent a snowmobile from Snowmo Corp today. For further information, please contact our local representative, Elizabeth blah, 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 at the Mystic at the Misty Skip. Gas not included. Safety equipment not included. Map not included. <laughs> Snowmobiles are designated as heavy machinery, and extreme caution is advised. Potential blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're done. Um Look at how beautiful this is. This game is just beautiful. Like, this just goes to show you do not need a full 3D experience. P point and click. Point and click can be beautiful. And this is like, this is beautiful point and click. Like, her and our active did point and click the right way. They seriously did. <laughs> Lizard's like, well, that's just great. I, I cannot believe... Like, her interactive did point and click the right way. Like, this is just beautiful. If this section of the original ship was removed, then maybe others were too. Old Stakula. The original crow's nest was removed. Wait. For a second, I read that as Skulchula from Zelda. I'm like, I can just hear the spider sounds from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Like that. And then you break it, and you hear the... No, 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 no. I can't do it. It's like, no, 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 no. Or I, I, I'm, I'm so off key. Wait, wait, wait. It's like, no, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. But anyway, you get it, and then you hear the, no, 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 no. And then there's like the Skulltula skull that you get. Old Skulltula. This original crow's nest was removed from the Herlikjahide. The Herlikjahide. Prior to the start of the restoration two years ago. Styled in the fashion of the typical Dutch East India men ships from the period, the name Hergelikabalakahide means glory in Dutch. Is that all it means? It has been preserved for future generations to admire and enjoy. Ace Attorney style Nancy Drew designs would be so cool though. I know, right? Wait, did I just see minor death on the motorbike ad? Pro you probably did. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it, to be honest. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. All right, so here we are. I'm just imagining Nancy being like, Psst, Dagny. Dagny. Psst, Dagny. Dagny's like, what? And Nancy's like, hi. Yar. 
Excuse me. Wait, so what is this place? It's the Skibrot Culture Center. Who is this hot man? Who is this sexy guy over here? Look at the biceps on him. He is handsome. <laughs> I'm just imagining like the scene from My Big Fat Greek Wedding when Tula is staring at Ian and Ian looks up and she literally just sees Tula like just he sees Tula just staring at her like <laughs> I'm just imagining this guy looks up and Nancy's like <laughs> and he's like excuse me <laughs> what do you want you're scaring me <laughs> you're scaring me hi there I'm looking for Soren you must oh my god, he's so I'm handsome. Sword, the organizer of the Ancestors Festival. I you are so handsome. Here in Skip Row. Nice to meet you. Can you help me get onto the ship? Ah, the Herlachide. Is Elizabeth not manning the game? The Herlachide. Unfortunately. Oh dear. Well, that's highly unusual. I'll take care of it straight away for you. Elizabeth is a rose, <laughs> truly. But she does have thorns. Esco's like, that Christmas sweater means he doesn't cheat. <laughs> Quick, grab the 2 by 4 and let's capture him. Oh my god, Esco. I love your comments. <laughs> Go follow Esco right now. <sighs> yeah, Nancy, just ignore the ringing in your pocket right now. Joe, you're being swayed by a sweater too hard. I know, right? I mean, his biceps are just so showing and his eyes are so cute. And look at that hair. Look at that 3D rendered hair. Like, whoever worked on the 3D model of his hair, like, really did a good job. I mean, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this handsomeness on screen. <laughs> what do you think happened, Magnus? <laughs> I admit I haven't the faintest idea. That man's mind is a hive of mysteries, an enigma, an impenetrable den. So you two never really talked? <laughs> an understatement. Why, the man hardly spoke <laughs> ten words to me the entire time. I love how Nancy's like, so, what, where, where have, you, have you seen him anywhere? And he's like, I haven't had the faintest idea. Like... Very dramatic. Very, very dramatic. I'm, I knew him. I do hope he's all right, though. Mm. If he were to turn up, say, less than alive, it would spell bad news for me. I'm already disliked, and it would only show the others how easy it is to make someone disappear. Oh my god. Did you hear that? It would spell for bad news for him, for Soren, because no one likes him already. So... If it's easy to make Magnus disappear, it's easy to make Soren disappear. Oh my god. Nancy's like... I can make you disappear in my hotel room. I got some investigating to do and some interrogations. You want to come back upstairs in a few bit in a few minutes? Nancy just like grabs her like her card key and she's like... She's like, this is the key to 114. Come on in. I can make it disappear with my band crash bandicoot. <laughs> so soon after Thanos? What the hell? I know, right, Guava? I'm, I'm already moving on after Thanos. <laughs> I mean, Soren's got, like, the cute boyfriend vibes. I mean, he's 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 got the muscles and the beard and the, and the you know, the mustache and the cute hair i mean i mean who wouldn't who wouldn't sim for soren i mean come on come on what is this place this is my battle station the place where i endeavor to fight my way through the thickest mysteries of icelandic history here confusing ancient shipwrecks and obscure writings from millennia past are converted into knowledge and truth also i have swords also i have swords nancy's like Show me your sword, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the thickest. That sweater would make would look really good on me. I think they sell it on the Her Interactive store. If they don't, then we should ask Her Interactive. <laughs> Can you sell us Soren's sweater, please? Swords are a plus. Yes, yes, yes. So you're a historian? Archaeologist. <laughs> Sexy. Soren's like, excuse me. <laughs> so, you're a historian, archaeologist? <laughs> a bit of both. I dabble. I spent some years at Harvard pursuing my doctorate in Viking history before... Doctorate? Oh my gosh. I'm one of the only He's few to smart. Ever in this town. 
everyone here should try it sometime. Really shakes up the old bag of prejudices. Nancy's like, doctorate, excuse me. So you're a doctor, eh? Nancy's like, just take my card key, please. Just, just take it. <laughs> I guess that explains why you don't have much of an accent. <laughs> oh, quite. What is with Nancy and the accents? In Leverage of the Lies, Nancy's like, Exenia's lack of a Greek accent. Like, and then again with Sorin, like, why do you have no accent? Like, Nancy, why is it a big deal that someone doesn't have an accent? Tell me about your Jeez. Sharp things. Ceremonies, Nancy is so sharp critical. Wedding spears, funeral spears, new baby celebration daggers, birthday axes, congrats bows. Turns out Vikings have a lot of weapons for every occasion. Nothing says I love you like a new murder tool. <laughs> Most of Ooh. these can be found on shipwrecks. Murder tool. <laughs> oh my Luckily, god. No lack of those <laughs> That's horrible. Parts, so That's I've horrible. Plenty of work to do. Old Gudrun over there is my favorite of all. She's a replica, not an original. I use her to knock icicles off the roof. Later. Well, on with it. Nancy, you're ruining it, Nancy. You're ruining it by saying later. Be like, see you later, and maybe you want to hang out later and give me a tour of the shop, Soren. I wonder if it's because people kept asking why characters didn't have accents in earlier games. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Learn to speak like a sailor. I need to match each sail to its name. <sighs> J. For sale. We're not going to do this right now because I have no idea what it means. All right, let's look around. Now, this is some good Sea of Thieves action. Candy Girl, if you're still here, we're playing Sea of Thieves right now. Do you like it so far? <laughs> Fire! <laughs> oh, my God. I just want to keep doing this. Like, I'm just imagining Soren being like, Nancy, if you do it any more times, I'm going to have to start charging you. Good night, Ice Cool Car. Thank you so much for coming in. Candy Girl's like, Arr. Imagine this thing breaking. This museum is so cute. Like, I like the lighting and the rod. And the, like the rod. I was gonna say the rods. Like, they really put a lot of time into designing these museums. Like, they're really, really cute. Sextant. Navigational instrument, which allowed sailors to determine latitude and longitude by measuring celestial bodies relative to the horizon. Fascinating. Could you finish setting up the knots display? I you just need to match the images to the knot they create. I do it myself, but I don't have the time. Nancy's sure, like... Leave it to me. I will if you come to my room later. Fire, 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 fire. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Wow. I'd hate to be on the chopping end of one of those blades. Nancy's like, and she, as she turns around and she's like, but not yours, Soren. If you catch my drift. <laughs> I kept mixing the bottom and the top ones up. Oh, man. So those are some caves from 1979. And uh, more stuff. What is this? This is just the history of the town. Scheduled events. Nothing too crazy. Why does Nancy Everything Drew... Everything in the gift shop is available for purchase. Like, why isn't this working? Oh, right. So, interesting. And we can just buy whatever we want. But, like, doesn't Nancy have money? Nancy has no money. We can buy... Oh, my gosh. We can buy Soren's sweater. We can buy a doggy. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. We can buy a sword. Oh, my gosh. Nancy's like... Nancy's like, I need a sword for myself. Hmm. <sighs> All right, we're going to walk outside and look around. So that's where we came from, this town. The left side, if we keep going this way, has a snowballer, but unfortunately we can't use it yet. 
if we go to the far left side of the town, um, the Misty Skip. It looks like it's our hotel for the night. Just shoplift. I know, right? Sweaters suck. Suck. Get a sword. No, we're getting the sweater. So this is our hotel, and it's so pretty. Nancy's just going to take a book, you know? Nancy's like, well, time to put this 400-page book in my duffel bag. <laughs> Nancy's like, start of the duffel bag. <laughs> Let's save the game. Ah, the Misty Skip. This hotel is actually, like, really cute. Like, I'm really, really liking the way this hotel looks. It's actually quite beautiful. And, like, look at the artwork on the way down. Like, look at these Christmas lights on the netting. And then look at the blue balls. Like, they really made the hotel. Like, they really went and said, we're going to make this hotel look really pretty. Nancy steals everything else. Why can't she shoplift? I know, right? But seriously, like, they really made this look beautiful. I mean, look at this. If this were, like, a full 3D game, like, this would look even more amazing. Um, I'm, s like, yeah, look at this. Like, I love, like, the design they did with this. Like, it's really, really pretty. I mean, they really made the hotel look cozy. Like, this is very... Very cozy. <sighs> Hi there. I'm investigating a recent disappearance. My name's Nancy Drew. Speak up, girl. My name's Nancy Drew. Louder! I said <laughs> my name's Nancy <laughs> Drew. Mind your ship. I would have loved it. I would have loved it if after he said louder and then louder again, if Nancy would have screamed, if, if Lanny Manella would have screamed into the microphone like, my name is Nancy Drew, like just screaming it so loud that it like hurts our speakers and like blows them out. Like, oh, I would have loved that. I would have loved it. Flag and temper. Looks like we got a real angry one here. Name's Gunnar, but you can call me Gunnar. The skip is my home. Oh. <laughs> was, she, was he screwing with us? I think he was screwing with us. Did you know Magnus? Sure did. Never liked it. I knew it. Nancy's like, did you know Magnus? And he's like, never liked him. Nancy's like... <laughs> Can you just say that you kidnapped him so I can go home? Or so that I could, you know, uh, have some alone time with Soren upstairs in my bedroom. Because it's it's really cold outside and I really, really don't feel like spending the time solving a case. I just really, really want to have some alone time with my new, with my new non- Icelandic speaking accented boyfriend Soren. <laughs> Did something happen between you two? No, I don't like anyone. I don't think I like you. I'm still gumming it over. So I take it. Well, you you're friends. an well, you're an asshole. <laughs> Gunnar doesn't need friends. Already have two mug and chair. Well, you're a dick. <laughs> Nancy just walks away like bye bye. Bye bye. Be gone with you. Yeah, same to you. <laughs> she just turns around. She's like, <laughs> she just spits at him like, Pff, like as she walks away. She's just like, Pff, and just walks away. Don't do that. Don't do that in real life. Can we look around in here? Like, what can we look at in here? Mug is overrated anyway. <laughs> oh, don't no. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be back there. Oh, we can't go in the kitchen. We always could. Oh, but we'll go in the employees only room. And we'll take the gas. <laughs> Lizard, oh my gosh. That's funny. Ooh, we got like a little coin thing. This 
is so neat. I wish I could play these. Ooh, we can play the instruments. This is bringing back Megan vibes. Plays the song Joe. I know, right? Hmm. I'm gonna save. We'll play the language game. Okay, a tolva. Let's say it's a desk. Skifroboro. I'm gonna say this. Ferotaska. This. Farasimi. We got them all wrong. Oh my god. My navel. I'm gonna say it's hospital. Sarkujis. I'm gonna say this is a bathroom. We're gonna get these all wrong. <gasps> we got one right. Kaluka. I'm gonna say it's a clock. Stevel's a boot. Hotel is hotel. And then pills is skirt. <gasps> we got them all right. You're the Megan now, Joe. I know, right? Svenerviki. Sven. I'm gonna say bank. Oh no 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 no. Banky is bank. Bokas fun. I'm gonna say his bedroom. School. No, this is school. Ah, uh, we got two right. We got some money. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, Guava. Thank you. Catch. Can't check, can't check, still can't, can't, can't check. Well, let me see if I can read my diary. All right, all right, all right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a diary reading session in a bit. Good day. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> he's like, oh. Talk about someone so, he's so mean to us. Oh, we can't afford this. I want to check it out, though. We'll have make some more money and then we'll check it out. Jato something. I'm gonna say beach. Strond. Okay, yeah. Well, this we're gonna do that. We only got one right. No, I'm so bad at this. Elding is probably lightning. Flower. See. We made some money. All right, we made just enough. We made just enough money. You have to pay for each part? What? Oh, no. We'll do one part per stream. When Lockheed Fishers opened and vomited fire and smoke onto the land, thousands perished immediately into the madness. And the sky grew dark, and even foreign lands were covered. We called those times the missed hardships, and in that darkness, the people of Skipbro struggled to survive. One night, the ship came crashing into harbor. It was the Herlikai. Captain Lawrence and his crew were rescued and taken in. Well then, that was part one. Part two is going to cost some more money, like Guava said, so... Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until we get to part two of that one. Then, so until we get more money, we're going to have to make more money, more cash money. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do the same thing for myself. All right, let's see if we can go aboard the ship. What's over there? Looks like this dinghy's in good shape. I wonder who owns it. <laughs> the motor's busted. Can't take it anywhere like this. Is that seriously the the um the horn? It's a cat. The horn is literally a cat. Welcome well, on in, Peculiar Ham. Can we get a shout out for Peculiar Ham, please? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did it, was that a bike? Was that a bike? Nancy just grabs a deck of the gas cannon and she's just like, 
<sighs> like she just like throws it at the like the deck that hits the biker in the face like pfft. and then nancy just grabs a match and just goes pfft. no i'm just kidding that's, that's too dark it's too dark nancy just grabs a gas can and she just pfft, just flings it the gas can yeah we'll, we'll just we'll just send it there <laughs> Gilly Cam is like i want that kitty horn we need some torque oh no hey who let you on board if you're here for the festival, it's cancelled. I didn't mean to intrude. I'd just like to have a look around, if that's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a visitor. I know you're a tourist. We're a town of 300. I'm not a tourist. I'm here to investigate. Thanks for setting up that gangway for me, by the way. The gangway was meant for Soren. I didn't know he planned to let strangers on board. Are you with that snake of a woman? <laughs> Nancy's like... Well, well, if, you know, just for your information, she did pay for the ship, and it's technically her property, so I'm gonna need you to get off, because this is technically her ship. So, I don't really know what you're doing here. I mean, uh, you know, you know, she has the receipt... So we, we kind of need you off the premises because this is not your place to be here. <laughs> Nancy's like, do I look like a Taurus to you? Just ignore the paperwork saying it isn't Agnes. Nancy's like, I came here to take your land from you. <laughs> not that, not the taking the land from you. This is mine now, it's my land. This land is my land. <laughs> it's complicated. If you're after just the gold, I want nothing to do with you. Leave. Wait, I'm not after any treasure. I just want to help find Magnus. Magnus? Look, I think we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Maybe I should start over. My name's Nancy. It's really nice to meet you. I'm Elizabeth. I run a Misty Skip pub in town. What do you want with Magnus? Oh, good. So you know him? Hmm. That's a question, isn't it? I thought I knew him. Maybe I was wrong. Nancy's like, Do you know him or do you not? Like, it's an easy question, Elizabeth. Like, it's a really, really easy question. You either know the man or you don't. It's not like an in-between situation here. You know, you either know him and you're his friend and you've talked to him in person or maybe you've kissed him, you've cuddled him up, you've seen him with clothes and without, you've shared a bed with him, you've cooked with him and cleaned with him and maybe did some other things with him. Or you didn't. But either way... This is not a hard question, Elizabeth. Do you know him or do you not? <laughs> are you dating him or are you not? <laughs> are you friends with him or are you not? And also, this isn't your ship, so get that fuck out. <laughs> it's almost like... <laughs> I meant to... I have... Oh, jeez, Peculiar Ham. That game is intense. Good luck. What was like you owning something for family community value what about the treasure intense she has the it's complicated on skip i thought i knew him stares off into the moonlight you've cuddled him and you've helped him pay taxes elizabeth like what the heck <laughs> nancy's like were you close to him then like it's not a hard question elizabeth were you very close with him then? No. No, we weren't close. And I want nothing to do with a man. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna just pencil that in my diary. And, you know, once you go in the diary, that's when things get real. So, you know. You know. What do you think happened to Magnus? The current rumor is that he fell overboard. Do I think he is drowned? Is that what you're asking? Nancy's like, I'm implying that either one, you're dating him, you know, or two, you're, you know, maybe you pushed him. 
I mean, Elizabeth, right now you seem like the most likely to be a culprit because you're currently on a ship that isn't yours. Um, I, I really just don't know what's going on here. I'm getting heavy vibes from your constant, you know, aggression towards me that maybe you do know him. And maybe, uh, you know, maybe something's going on here. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I certainly <laughs> hope so. Some people think he ran off with some old treasure. It may be a coincidence. It may not. Dagny doesn't think it was a coincidence at all. So, you've been talking to the others? Just a bit here and there. Even if the treasure were real, Magnus wouldn't be able to find it. He's completely oblivious. To the world. To everything. The man lives in the cabin in the mountains. Too lofty to concern himself with human affairs. <laughs> We know she'd be lot right. Nancy's like, you know what? Just for the record here, I don't want your man. Cause let's just let's just let's just face it. You do know him. You did share a bed with him. I'm interested in Soren. Just just for the racker. <laughs> Elizabeth's like, <laughs> like her her Elizabeth's reaction before this was like, <laughs> like like what? <laughs> I like how the next thing is, we need to borrow the key. We need hey, the key. Hey, Elizabeth, may I borrow a snowmobile key? Depends. Are you going to steal it? Not this time. I think I'd have trouble fitting it into my carry-on luggage. Here's the key. We have tourists take them every year. Are you serious, Nancy? Oh my god. <laughs> Nancy's like... I like how Elizabeth's like, are you going to steal it? And Nancy's like, it's not going to fit on my carry-on luggage. Just leave, Nancy. Just leave. I, Nancy. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from that comment. <laughs> I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> it's not gonna fit in my. Oh my god. Oh my god, Nancy. Elizabeth. At that point, it just looks at Nancy like, "Here's the key. Just take it. Lucky for you, it's insured. So if it explodes." At least I'll have the money. <laughs> at least it's in, at least it's insured. <laughs> Lizard is like, well, Nancy wouldn't would be way ahead of stealing if it were if you just gave away the key. So uh, yeah, I know, right, Lizard? That is so funny. It's so funny. Bergestein with two ends. Always use the provided seatbelt. Snow looks soft until you land head first. I'll let you go. Bye now. She said bay now, but it was like bay, but bay now, bay now. What's in there? Hey, get out of there. Hey, what are you doing? Nancy's like, last time I checked, this isn't your boat. Wait, we can climb this? Nancy, it's like freezing cold and you're going to climb. Oh my gosh, Nancy's climbing it. Nancy, you're climbing it. Oh. Nancy's just cl straight up climbing it. This is dangerous. Oh my gosh. Nancy just straight up climbed this. Nancy's like, this isn't the first time I've been thrown off a snowmobile. I know, right? The view here is actually quite beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. 86. This actually is quite beautiful. But like at the same time, Nancy literally climbed all the way to the top of this. Oh, this is terrifying. Look how high up we are. And she's just clinging on the rope. This is high. <gasps> this is so high in the air. That's it. Nancy is a climber. Look at this. I'm just imagining Nancy like climbing up in her na in her mom jeans and like pumps and she's wearing like a really small winter coat and just you know like what if she gets snagged or something while like with, with a duffel bag Sea of Thieves vibes that this this is this is taller than Sea of Thieves we have established before Nancy is very strong except when getting lightly tapped and knocked out immediately Nancy is that crazy friend <laughs> Kenny girl's like, arr, arr. All right, let's look around some more. 
Gosh, the graphics in this game are so pretty. Mm. It's so the graphics in this game are like a huge improvement. Oh and Magnus have radio keys, apparently. She is so wearing mom jeans. You hit the nail on the head. Oh, she always wears mom jeans. Nancy is the mom jeans connoisseur. Nancy probably gets sponsored for the mom jeans she wears. Like, like she probably like Nancy probably my, Nancy's probably the kind of person that gets mom jeans like shipped to her. Like they get shipped to her monthly. <laughs> or she'll make it like an excursion with Bess and George. Like, hey, we're going mom jeans shopping. Welcome on in, Gay Authority. Gay Authority. Gay Authority, are you ready, Gay Authority, for a mom jeans uh, excursion, Gay Authority? Because we're going mom jeans shopping. You, me, Guava, Candy Girl, Esco Blazin, Lizard. We're all, we're all going mom jeans shopping together. Her mother left them for her. Oh my gosh, Guava. That's why she could take so much stuff. She has the deep pockets in the mom jeans. Yeah, some mom jeans. <laughs> Nancy went from being very high up to just being in the in the missing batteries to being in the basement of a ship. Like Nancy has no limits. She has no limits to what she can do and where she wants to go. Nancy doesn't give Nancy's like a honey badger. Like, you know, she doesn't give a shit. She just walks around and does whatever she wants. Nancy's like, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna walk around and just take everything. <laughs> it's all mine now. Oh jeez. I have a feeling we're gonna be in this room for a while. They look really happy. Elizabeth's a liar. You know, Elizabeth was like, I don't know him. And here they are together. Lies. Liar. <sighs> King goes like, I want mom jeans and a Jenna Deplin shirt. Oh man, that'd be so amazing. Nancy has complete control over the Y axis. <laughs> it's giving the mom jeans commercial skit on SNL. I don't know that skit, but that sounds hilarious. Elizabeth's a straight up liar for being like, Magnus, oh, I don't know him. You fucking know him. You're dating the guy. You're sharing a bed with him. You know what? I bet that you and I bet Elizabeth that you and Magnus shared this bed together. I bet you went and straight up shared this really tiny bed together and you did the deed. You went and got done dirty on this bed. Elizabeth and Magnus probably cuddled naked on this pirate ship bed of theirs. And then they had breakfast right here with this little thing. And they just went and done the deed. They done did. They done did the deed. <laughs> Joe D's from Department. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I may, I may or may not. Uh, you have to watch the skit like right now. I'll check it out. Send in the Discord if you can. Why is the bed so small? The bed is really, really small. Like, this is not a good bed to smush on. Like, this bed looks like it's just for one person, and there's only one pillow. Like, who sleeps with one pillow? Spilling all the tea. I know, right? I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Like, look at this. They, they Elizabeth, and they were definitely doing the deed here. And, and, ugh. Okay, they even got an extra... They, they tried to hide it. They tried to hide it by putting a pillow and a blanket here. Got some dad jeans here. Nancy's just... I like how Nancy just looks at a thing of pins and she's just like, they're all mine now. I want them. What kind of psycho is Nancy where she just looks at a thing of pins? <laughs> she's like... Eh. She just grabs them and then throws them in her duffel. Nancy's like, all of these pins are mine now. <laughs> Mine. Wow, an antique desk. And it's There's more room here. There, uh, careful of the compass, though. Break it open. You always need pins. <laughs> Catch and Buzz was like, I have to sleep with five pillows. I actually have five pillows, too. The deaf did it on the table, then. <laughs> need to figure out the rules being used in each row here. Oh, man. I remember this puzzle. It's a pain in the ass. The puzzles in this game are kind of a pain in the ass. Nancy is so selective about what she chose. She'll take the locator, but she won't take this, the rulers or the sextant or the compass. Nancy will is so selective. I think I need to get all the wooden sections pressed down. All right, can we do this? Can we solve the puzzle? Can we solve this? Um. 
So all the wooden sections need to be pushed down. We just got it. Dear Elizabeth, hi, I miss you. Some language we don't know. M. Magnus. <sighs> Not only were they dating, but they were also sending each other letters in this box. How much more tea can we find here? How much more? Elizabeth a liar. Drag her. Slay her. <laughs> Who is she? Maybe Nancy's a resourceful hoarder. This game has my least favorite Nancy Drew. What, Candy Girl, which one is it? Oh my gosh. Magnus. The entire point of this exercise is to communicate. That means long letters. If I only get to see you once a week these days, we'd better make it count. Remember what we talked about? This is good for us. Okay, I'll start. This week, I booked an audio rep for the Ancestors Festival this year. Soren is, as usual, making it difficult. Double checking every invoice and worse, he takes organization to smothering levels. I can tell he doesn't trust me at all anymore. That hurts, but at the same time, I can't help but wonder if there's more to it that he isn't telling me. He seems protective to a fault. My old roommate Asa wrote from Paris. She sends love she sends her love to you. She's still doing the backpacking thing. I admire how free she seems. I don't think she'll be home for the holidays this year. Hopefully you will be. I want to finally put up a tree this year. Can we do that? Can we get a tree and decorate? It'll be all ours, just you and me. Isn't that great? Love Seta Soweta. Oh jeez, the lighthouse. The lighthouse is hard. Was a bit like, so how's Asa? Yeah, Magnus, remember when we talked about writing loving letters to one another while we naked on the single? I know, right, Lizard? But who the hell was Soweta? I wonder who that is. Elizabeth. Fine, we can get a tree. Oh, it is Elizabeth. Okay, fine, we can get a tree. N to not, no decorations, never decorations. The Limerick's book is coming along well. I think I'm on to something niche, but I miss Skiprot. I miss your dog, and also you. When I return, I'd like to borrow the Leng spill from the Missy Skip. Something here, M. Magnus. Where's your sense of holiday cheer? And fine, I'll limit myself to two strings of lights. You'll like it once it's all done, I promise. You always have. No, you can't take the Leng spill out of the pub, love. It's a great grandmother's, and I don't want it broken. What do you want that old thing for anyways? It's just an antique. I doubt anyone's played that thing in years. Speaking of the dog, Toomey and I are on a classic war film marathon. I watch for the plot and he watches for the horses. He jumps up barking and presses his nose to the screen whenever they run past. He's a cute one. I'm glad you let me watch him this time. Lots of love and kisses, Elizabeth. Magnus seems pretty insistent over this long spill thing. Elizabeth, I need the link spill, please. I promise to take good care of it. I'll wait until the festival's over to have a look. I'm being quite serious. I love you too. Stay warm. Nancy's like, who's taking a shit on this boat right now? Nancy's like, someone's got some gas on this boat. <laughs> Nancy's like, well, I better leave this love room right now because this, you know, this beautiful love room is just not my place to be right now. And it's kind of musty in here. It's kind of musky in here, Nancy's like. I, I just, I'm not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood right now. Nancy's like, we'll come back to the love room. We'll come back to the Sims love room later. Nancy just goes up to her. So tell me more about your sexual relationship with Magnus. Now that I know the truth. Now that I know the truth. Let's play the link spiel till that guy yells at us. The dog must love poor horse. Love the room is offending my sensibilities. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Too funny. This is too funny. Oh. Hello. So, what's behind the mystery door? Just an old broom closet. Can I see? No. Ah, not even a hint? Go away. Nancy's like, is it where all your toys are at? <laughs> Most of it's like, excuse me? What did you just say? Nancy's like, your, you know, your, your toys. Boggle, Scrabble, 
Twister. <laughs> Elizabeth's like, get off my ship. Get off my ship. <laughs> get off my boat. Nancy's like, it's not your boat. <laughs> Nancy's like, I'll get off your boat. I'll get off the boat. But guess what? And it's like, what? Nancy's like, it's not your boat. And then she just runs and jumps. <laughs> Got him. Sea of Thieves nuts. Oh my god. They do. Nancy can't know because it's the entrance to the red room. Oh my gosh. You guys are. Y'all are funny. Alright. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Hello. Hey, Nan. Wait, 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 wait. Why is Nancy's ringtone an office phone? Does Nancy miss being in the office so much that she set her ringtone to an office phone? Like, who in their right mind wants to set their ringtone to an office phone? Why? Nancy can't. I'm too powerful for you. Nancy can't. No, because it's the entrance. Okay, I'm... Candy Girl's like, ooh, drama. Am I the drama? <laughs> Are you still on your way? Hey, Ned. No, I'm already here. Oh, good. Are you still on your way? What? Wait, wait. Nancy, you're telling me that you didn't tell Ned that you're leaving for Iceland. <laughs> and Ned thinks you're in River Heights. Are you are you on your way? What's your ETA? Because she's quirky. Ned's been calling since Nancy was talking to... So she only heard the phone. Okay, but why does Ned think that Nancy is still in River Heights, Chicago? <laughs> I mean, is Ned like a few... Like, Kitty Girl's like, Ned, I forgot about you. <laughs> <laughs> she forgot about her boyfriend. <laughs> like, no text... No call, nothing. Omg, oh, Ned, I'm still on my way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just wait in the restaurant until I get there. Three days later. <laughs> what the hell, Nancy? You don't tell your boyfriend that you're in Skiprot, Iceland. That it took you three days to get here. Ned thinks that you're in Chicago River Heights and you're on your way to hang out with him. You didn't tell him that you're across the country? What? Whatever you think of Ned, it's correct. I'm a blizzard and bad tra OMG. This is crazy. Ned, it's not what it looks like. I just didn't bother to tell you that I'm going across the country. <laughs> How close are you? Getting closer all the time. I feel like I'm definitely near to a breakthrough. Oh, cool. I can't wait. It's hard to get people to talk, though. Get people to talk? Yes. I've managed to narrow down that the treasure is related to the ship somehow, but beyond that, I haven't figured out the specifics. Nancy, what are you talking about? Are, are you on a case right now? Well, of course. I'm in Iceland. Uh, Nancy, do you know what today is? Uh, Sunday? It's our anniversary today we had reservations for dinner remember <laughs> i called to see if you were on your way to the restaurant but i guess not oh no <laughs> ned i like how we could say oh ned i'm so so sorry i completely forgot ned, ned dinner will have to wait i want to see both i'm gonna save here because i want to see both options <laughs> Nancy has gaslight gatekeeper girl boss as a cross stitch on her wall at home and Ned is still clueless maybe this is on Ned he should be up to date on Nancy's travel blog oh my god Ned we're gonna do the first one and then we're gonna do the second one next oh Ned I'm so 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 sorry I completely forgot well yeah you being in Iceland and all I figured I guess I shouldn't be surprised you tend to get a little focused on cases but wow Iceland of all places. Okay, so now we're gonna do the next. We're gonna do the, the other one and see how that goes. Ned, dinner will have to wait. I mean, today's our anniversary, whether you're here for it or not. Can't say I'm too surprised. Aww. Aww. Wow, Iceland of all places. That's so sad. All right, we're gonna do the first. One. We're, I, 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 we're, I'm, we're gonna <laughs> the shade. We're gonna do the first one. Oh, Ned, I'm so, so, so sorry. I completely forgot. Well, yeah, you being in Iceland at all, I figured. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You tend to get a little focused on cases. That's so but, sad. Wow, 
Iceland of all places. So sad. Aww. It's fun messing with Ned, but I could never bring myself to be mean to him when actually playing the games. <laughs> I owe you a serious apology. I'm sorry. It's all right, man. That's part of why we're celebrating this anniversary in the first place. You're passionate, and that's great, and part of why we're together. I've heard of getting stood up on an anniversary, but nothing quite like this. Just bring me an anniversary souvenir from your trip, okay? Oh, you're the best, Ned. I'll make it Aww. up to you, I promise. Aww. Yeah, I'll just fill the hole in my heart with football and this pint of cookie kringle ice cream. There's a game on tonight I really wanted to watch with birds, so <laughs> maybe it's cosmic fate. Anyways, if you're in Iceland, it must be a pretty interesting case. It is. Lost treasure, a missing captain, and a town with a pile of secrets. Sounds like the usual fare in Nancy world. <laughs> Remember, you can give me a call anytime you want. Hint, hint, and wait for it. Stay cool. Oh boy, that was just <laughs> the worst. Hey, you stood me up. Pretty sure I get a free pass on puns for eternity. Also, I've been at this restaurant for a while and the waiter's glaring at me. I think I should get out of here. Bye, Ned. I'll give you a call soon. Bye. Wow, I feel so bad for Ned. That was really, really sad. I, But you know what, though? At least they made up. At least they made up. At least things are back to normal and they can apologize to each other and all can be good again. But anyway, I think that summarizes the first part of Nancy Drew's Sea of Darkness. Um, we got the chance to meet some characters, we got the chance to hang out with some people, and uh, we got the chance to check out some of the ship. So um, I think that pretty much summarizes the very first part of the game. Um, for those of you that stayed here tonight, thank you very much for taking the time to hang out with me. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate the time and everything. Um, so I'm looking for uh, tune in soon, either this weekend or or the next time I for sure will be streaming is on Monday, next week and Wednesday. This weekend I might be streaming. Uh, well, I'm thinking about doing more Nancy Drew most likely. Um, but I just want to say thank you very much everyone for being for coming in tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Italian Gamer Joe. Um, I'm gonna try to find someone to um, to raid. So let's see who is online tonight. Who is the wonderful lucky person that I'll be reading tonight that'll be that is actually online. Um okay, I think I found someone actually. Um Yeah, I think I found someone. Yes. Okay. Um <laughs> Nancy Drew, Sea of Mom Jeans. Well, come on in, Prince. Thank you for coming in uh, at the tail end of the stream. Before I go, I just have one more thing to talk about. Um, tonight's stream is brought to you by Her Interactive, the developers that create and develop and publish the Nancy Drew games. Go to the Her Interactive website and enter the code TRAVEL22 um, to get a 35% discount on all Nancy Drew games. Whether you are purchasing the games for yourself or for a lucky person that's in need of a staycation, please consider going to the Her Interactive website, setting, sending them the game uh, with their email address. Not only will you be giving them the game, but you'll also be giving them the illustrated walkthrough strategy guide as well. So consider going to the Her Interactive website, entering the code TRAVEL22, at checkout either for yourself or for someone in your life that you think needs the nancy drew games and feel free to give it to them it's the staycation they've always wanted send them to italy france egypt ireland greece anywhere <laughs> no i seriously though like if you really want to get someone addicted to something give them the gift of nancy drew Travel 22 at checkout. Her Interactive, thank you very much for the sponsorship tonight. Very kind of you, as always. Wow, but says, a tornado. <laughs> yeah, send them to Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Make them do the hardest Nancy Drew puzzles of all time. Send them on the best vacation ever. Um, the music you're listening to right now is from Nancy Drew, Creature of Kapu Cave. 
You can also buy all of the Nancy Drew soundtracks on the Her Interactive website as well. The 35% off discount does not apply to the soundtracks, but it applies only to the games. But you can purchase all of the Nancy Drew soundtracks on the Her Interactive website. Um, but yeah, thank you once again, Her Interactive, for the sponsorship. Okay. But yeah, once again, everybody, thank you so much for coming in tonight to Italian Gamer Joe. It's been a pleasure getting the chance to sp to hang out with all of you. Um, tune in this weekend, most likely for another stream. Um, I'm gonna just make sure the person that I'm rating is still online. Um, I think they are. I'm just double checking really quick to make sure that they are still available. Um, Sea of Darkness does have some nice music. I do have the soundtrack as well. I purchased it. I um I purchased the soundtrack to Sea of Darkness, and um it's a really it's a really cute soundtrack. Data entry, vegetable picking, frass sorting, you can do it all with Nancy Drew and put it on a resume, and put it on a resume. <laughs> I'm just imagining someone trying to put it on a resume. All right, one moment. There we go. So the person we are writing tonight is uh, DJ King of Pants, um, or just King of Pants. Um, he is a adventure game streamer just like me, and I believe an LGBT person as well. Um, he's currently playing Monkey Island 2 Special Edition, so we're going to go ahead and check out his channel and play some games with him. Uh, but once again, everybody, have a great night. Thank you so much for coming in, and hope to see you all at Italian Gamer Joe soon. Happy, happy, happy what? Happy Iceland travels with Nancy Drew. <laughs> I don't know. Hope you all have a great night, and see you all next time. Well, Italian Gamer Joe is signing off.